sup nerds welcome back to my channel guys <laughs> i'm so excited oh my gosh you guys know <laughs> this is my favorite video to film every month i say it every month i love this video um we'll be doing the tbr prompt jar chooses my tbr we have a little cup today because my tbr i only have eight prompts left in my tbr jar that i just did um, so, um, anyway, I emptied out my TBR jar because it just looked a little weird with eight, only eight prompts in this big old jar. So now it looks a little bit better. <laughs> um, but, uh, if you guys did not see my, um, spend the weekend with me, I actually did a whole bunch of new, more new prompts. I think I did like 50 new prompts. So exciting. So many new prompts. So I'm excited to refill the jar, but for now we're going to finish off the last eight prompts <laughs> of my TBR jar. It's so, it's so, um, I'm interested to see what's left, honestly. Like, so it's nerve wracking, but also exciting because I'm like, I don't know what's in here. <laughs> anyway, um, first, if you guys like TBRs, <laughs> if you guys like TBR jar, prompt jar, if you guys like the TBR prompt jar, sorry. If you guys like all the nerdy things, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button without further ado. Let's just get started. You can tell, like, I'm super excited. I'm also super stuffy, so we're going to ignore that. It's okay. We'll put, we'll limp. Um, if you guys do not know, if you are new here, um, you're wondering what is the TBR prompt jar. So, um, Rachel Catherine started this on YouTube. You throw a bunch of prompts in a jar, a cup, anything, essentially all the same thing. Um, it could be like a trope. Um, it could be a color of a book, like, you know, a black book only, that kind of stuff. They're just prompts to help kind of get creative when choosing your TBR. Um, sometimes, you know, people know exactly what they want to read next. Other times, like me, you never know what you want to read. And so you kind of just like hope you get really good prompts that like kind of point you in the right direction. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's a grand old time. Um, the past two TBRs, I haven't read every single book, but I've been getting pretty close. Um, and I've been choosing only eight prompts. Um, so not to say I've only, I've read less than eight books. <laughs> I've read a lot of books each month. Um, but <laughs> for the past two months, I should say, but for some reason, I don't know, the books that end up on my TBR are not the ones that I, 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 whatever, I just don't read all of them, but I got, I think I got either six or seven out of, um, eight last month, so pretty close, <laughs> um, so whatever, we're close enough, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, I, I think it's just, again, it helps you kind of get creative with your reading kind of guide. You're reading for the month, not necessarily the only thing you're going to read. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're not in a mood and you can't force yourself. You need, you shouldn't force yourself to read it. The TBR is just for fun. It's not necessarily for anything specific. So it's just a grand old time. Um, and I try to read my TBR, but if I don't, like I don't sweat. <laughs> um, uh, what the heck was the other thing I was going to say? Um, oh, last month. So for the month of February, this month, I should say. <laughs> Um, I actually tried to read all of my TBR books in the beginning of the month so that by the end of the month I could kind of read whatever I want and that kind of helped me a little bit um, because it was like, okay, like bang, 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 bang and then I was like, oh, like now I have a whole new world, <laughs> a free, free ride, you know what I mean? So it was a grand time um, I, and if that's, if that's something that like you want to do the prompt jar and you're like, but I know I won't read if it, 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 wow, but I know I may not read them. Um, then that's something that I was like, that motivated me was like, read them first, <laughs> then you have the month basically all to yourself. So <laughs> to read whatever you want. <laughs> and I think too, again, this is fun too, if you have a super huge TBR and you're buying, you find yourself buying a lot of books and you want to kind of almost justify all those purchases, <laughs> you want to read them. So here you go. <laughs> all right, I don't know why you guys are <sighs> so far today, but... <laughs> can come on closer come a little closer um so again this is the same kind of as last month the top row is books that I really want to read and then the bottom row is books that I like could read <laughs> um but are not I don't want to read as bad as the top row and then the third row is kind of books that I don't actually want to read <laughs> and so um yes and then this shelf is honestly it ended up becoming mostly um what is the word like next books in a series or um already read so that shelf is no longer a tbr shelf you know <laughs> so let's jump in again there are only eight prompts left so these are my last eight prompts um for whatever the green papers i should say because i the new ones are white <laughs> anyway i thought this cup was super cute too all right let's jump right in number one a book you regret buying what the heck? A way to start off this TBR. A book you regret buying. I have terrible handwriting. 
Um, oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Oh my gosh. Oh, God. Okay, I think we definitely have a few for this. Um, uh, it just depends on where I want to go. Oh, this one too. Oh my gosh, we have so many options. Hold on. Okay, one I definitely regret buying is the Sword Catcher by Cassandra Plecler. This one is in third person and it's massive, like literally massive. So I'm like, it's just hard, but I have it as an audiobook. I already bought it as an audiobook, so this is a good contender, but like... A dangerous contender. Another one is Buy a Thread by Lucy Score. Um, I can't, I just regret it because I, I don't think I will read it. But I honestly, so From Look Off With Love actually has given me a new point of view in life because I hate, I was so scared about that book, regretted buying it for a long time, but then I loved it after I read it. So like this one also could be one of those. This one I also kind of regret buying. This is The Night Shift by Annie Crown. The only reason why I regret buying this is because the back says, oh, because I didn't know it was a Wattpad book and I've heard horrible things about Wattpad books. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. And then the other two I know I'm not going to read, but I'll just show you that I definitely regret buying Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. I wanted to kind of, you know, have a array of books, but I'm probably never going to read this. And then I regret buying The Songbirds and Snakes, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Susan Collins. The thing is that I don't necessarily regret buying this. I regret not reading it before I watched the movie. <laughs> so um, those are definitely not going to get picked. Um, but... The other three are really hard because it's like, do I go fantasy that I might like or do I go short romance? I don't think I'm going to choose by a thread. <sighs> Honestly, okay. Because I'm currently reading the Throne of Glass series reading vlog coming soon. <laughs> um, I think we're going to go with The Night Shift um, because by Annie Crown um, because it's short and it's not fantasy yeah <laughs> I know it's gonna oh my gosh I wanted to move that before this video but um we'll just stack it here for now I know it's gonna what the heck I know I'm gonna have a lot I'm gonna end up with a lot of romance on this shelf on this TBR and I, I'm not even mad about it because I'm drowning in fantasy <laughs> um so okay I'll, I'll uh, we'll do that one and then we'll put these back okay Okay, come on closer. Alright, next one. That was a horrible way to start off. <laughs> let me just add, let me just say that. Um, a book over 600 pages. What? <laughs> oh. You know what? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my gosh, is Bad Blood over 600 pages? <gasps> no! It's 500 something pages, 506 pages. I want to read this so bad. I'm reading this this month, no matter what. Is Arch Enemies? Oh, this one's less than 500 pages. Wow, the two books I was like, I really don't want to read. Um, wow, this one's not even 600 pages. If Harry Potter is my only 600 page book, I might cry. Oh my gosh. Ah, <sighs> sword catcher over 600 pages? Please? No! <gasps> Wait! We might have just made it. Yes! 604. I'm not lying. Okay, we're gonna go with Swordcatcher. Someone, the Lord really wants me to read Swordcatcher for some reason. I don't know. We're gonna go with Swordcatcher. The other option was Harry Potter, and I really don't want to read Harry Potter right now. <laughs> Even though, um, I like I bought these, I have these both on, um, on, uh, Kindle, on Audible, sorry. Um, so that's okay. Like, they'll both be listened to, but I feel like I would rather listen to, yeah, sword catcher. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. 
when I was writing, you know what I did? I didn't even think about that though, because when I was rewriting my prompts the other day, I did not even like. I saw the prompt that I have two. I have one one prompt that said when I had originally wrote them. I had one prompt that said under 300 pages and then one prompt that said over 600 pages but for a second my brain was like oh I didn't do that prompt yet and then I just forgot about it like not even being like oh it probably still in your TBR jar duh no I mean it is but I didn't think about it oh my gosh rip this TBR y'all okay we still have lots of opportunities to get the books that I really want enemies to lovers <laughs> My least favorite trope. Enemies to lovers. Okay. Is One Dark Window? Oh, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This one says they aren't friends, they aren't allies. So that could be enemies to lovers. Is this one enemies to lovers? Oh my gosh. Okay. I honestly, I don't know if this is Enemies to Lovers technically, but I heard, I know this is Enemies to Lovers because it literally says Enemies to Lovers doesn't get more high stakes. <laughs> the first line up there. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> so, um, we're going to go with this one. This is Heartless and Hunter. I was, I was really excited about this because I got it in my book of the month. And then I was really mad about this because I didn't know it was in third person. But, um, I know, like, people are probably like, shut up, Marissa. A lot of books are in third person. Get over it. I know. It's just still annoying because no one warns you. I wish it would, like, I wish it would, like, t be more whatever I wish it would tell you so I want to be the one to tell you that what when books are in third person anyway um but for a while this wasn't available on audible because it hadn't technically released yet to the public only to book of the month but I heard someone say that this book was incredible so I really want to read it so I think we're gonna go with Heartless Hunter it's gonna take a lot to go through the rest of them and decide because I'm sure there definitely though there definitely are more enemies to lovers on this but I feel like nothing is more enemies to lovers than um a fantasy <laughs> all right we got six more uh, six five more prompts come on we holding out hope a youtuber made me buy youtuber made me buy okay oh, okay we're gonna go with we have options for sure. These were all influenced by the same YouTuber. <laughs> um, what is her name? Oh, I always forget. Heather McLary. But I think we're going to go with the fake mate because I really want to read it. And I don't know why it's just calling my name. Um, I feel like I kind of want to do a video with Butcher and Blackbird at some point. Butcher and Blackbird and One Dark Window together at some point. Um, but I, like it's one or the other. You know what I mean? Like one, it's one or whatever, one or both. It's none or both kind of thing um, on my TBR, and I don't know if we'll get both, whatever. So, anyway, I think we're going to choose Fake Mate because I really want to read this. I got, like, chapstick on it or something. I really, really want to read this. Um, and she didn't even read it. When I saw her, she literally only bought it and was like, oh, this is, like, werewolves. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I need it. It's werewolves. I feel like this will be quick read as well hopefully oh gosh this tbr is not looking the way i want it but that's okay all right next one is a book you're not sure what the trope is or genre why <laughs> a book you're not sure what the trope is or genre i guess honestly that works a book you're not sure what the trope is that's a lot of these Honestly, we might go with, okay, wait, we have options. Either Next of Kin and Savage Lover. I mean, technically, I have no idea what the trope is, what the tropes are. This one just says they're not friends, they're not allies, but I don't know if it's technically enemies to lovers or what. Like, I technically don't know what the trope is but same with next of kin um because all i know is uh, 
that she's technically, I don't know. Actually, we might go with next of kin because I honestly know not much. I know even less about this one. <laughs> um, so we're going to go with next of kin by Hannah Bonham Young. I, again, I don't know if it, what the trope would be. Neighbors? I don't know. I have no idea. So we're going to go with next of kin. <laughs> okay. The books I, okay, just like, while we're one, two, wait, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we have three more prompts. The books I really want to read are Bad Blood, Bad Blood, I really, really want to get one of these, I really, okay, no, the top two, the top two are Bad Blood and Savage Lover, um, if I don't get them, I probably will read them either way, but then I also really want to get In the Weeds and Heartless by Elsie Silver on there and Heartless more so just because I want to get through that series and not because I'm super excited about it although I think that's single dad I don't know all right oh my gosh a book with flowers on the cover a book with flowers on the cover okay let's see <laughs> no flowers Those are flowers, y'all. Those are like roses around the south side. Sorry, like right here. It's hard to see. Those are flowers. Okay, we got flowers. Technically... Those are flowers. They look like dead flowers, but those are flowers. That is a flower. And that's definitely a flower bud. Those are, f I'm counting that. And then In the Weeds has a lot of flowers. This one's very prominently a lot of flowers. Here's the thing. Okay, let's get, let's be 100 with each other. Because you guys are going to be like, why would you not just pick that? There is one prompt <laughs> that I believe is still in this drawer that I think I know. And I think it will be the only book that will apply to that prompt is this book. So I think we're going to have to go with Heartless because it was definitely one of the ones that I said I wanted to read. So let's go with Heartless by Elsie Silver. And we're going to wait on the Inheritance Games. I don't want to start this series until I finished that um the natural series and not because they're connected or anything but just because it'll be easier in my head less series at the same time um and I thought maybe if I got them both on the same TBR they're back here both on the same TBR would be fine but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen so we're gonna go with Heartless by Elsie Silver those are flowers so no one could come for me <laughs> Five, six okay two more <laughs> all right a book that matches the current season of course we got this one the prompt that I was just talking about so this is the prompt that I had got last month and I was like okay I have no books that matches winter that I wanted to read so I just put the prompt back and like read read picked so I both I thought that was in here but I just I wasn't a hundred percent sure um but we're gonna go with in the weeds although it is still currently winter we are counting this because this is technically spring so um that's why we're going to count it. Ooh, um, Sarah Adams. <laughs> I got to do, I got to make sure to add that prompt where it was like, um, your fav, one of your favorite authors has blurbed one of the other books. Cause I love that. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that this is spring and because, um, she wrote a set of like four interconnected standalones and, um, the first one, well, I think there's winter, spring and... Fall, I don't know. Summer and fall, I don't know. Anyway, this one is spring, so we're gonna go with this one, and we're counting it because spring starts in March, so it's spring, okay? That was why I was like, oh, I don't want to choose it for the other prompts, because I have no other, like, winter, spring, seasonal books that I would want to read, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I really want, oh, I want both Bad Blood and Savage Love. We're gonna put them both on the TBR, okay? All right. Start the next book in a series! both of them we're gonna choose both of them start the next book in the series who are we kidding we're gonna put both savage lover 
and Bad Blood. These are both a next book in a series. This is the fourth book in the Natural series, and this is the third book in the Br Brutal Birthright series. This is by Sophie Lark, and this is by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. We're going to choose them both. I didn't even know that prompt was in there. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> so I'm very excited about this. <laughs> um, we're going to choose both of them. I'm going to reorganize the TBR prompts, and then we'll go over all the books that we picked, and then that'll be it for this video. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, so the first book on the TBR is Heartless Hunter by Kristen Cicerelli. Cicerelli. This is a book that is enemies to lovers. The next book is Cassandra Clare, Swordcatcher. This is a book that is over 600 pages. Then we have Bad Blood by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is a book that's this is the continuation of the series I'm in the middle of <laughs> this is the next book I'm starting the next book in a series okay that's all I was trying to say um I don't know what height order is gonna go next then we have Night Shift by Annie Crown this is a book that I regret buying I know I hate that like already setting it off on a bad foot but it's fine um then we have The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson this is a book that a youtuber influenced you to buy Uh, then we have Savage Lover by Sophie Lark. This is also, um, a book that is a continuation in a series that I'm reading. Oh, so close. And then we have BK Borson, BK Borson in the Weeds. This is a book that matches the current season, but we're counting it as spring because I don't have a winter book that I want to read. Then we have Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is a book with flowers on it. Those are flowers. Don't come for me. And then last but certainly not least, we have Next of Kin by Hannah Bonham Young. This is a book that I have no idea what the heck the trope is, what the heck the anything is. I know the genre because I'm assuming it's romance, but like, it's romance, but like, I don't know the trope or anything, so we're counting that. All right, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine. I know I probably should just put ten up there for funsies, um, but it's fine. <laughs> Actually, no, we're gonna stick with nine because again, I'm currently also reading the Throne of Glass series. So even in between all of these, we have to read the Throne of Glass series. I know I don't have any of them up here. I've been buying them as I finish them, so um, they're not up here. Anyway, um, that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I re really hope you guys had a lot of fun. I love filming this video. Um, let me know if any of the same books are, if we have any of the same books on our TBR. Something like that. <laughs> that is it for this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, nerds!